Hi guys. So welcome. I'm going to do a video for you. Um, we're going to keep it, um, I'm going to try to keep it around 40 minutes and I just have um, one set of dumbbells, uh, eight pounds. So kind of light to medium weight. I just tried to pick something that maybe you had at home. Um, maybe you don't have a huge selection. So just kind of like a small to medium size weight, but if you have heavy dumbbells and you want to have a close by, um, just pull them out now. It's your mat if you need it, a towel, some water, um, and it's gonna go nonstop for, like I said, hopefully about 40 minutes. So we are gonna start with a body weight warm up here. You don't need your weights. Um, just make sure you've got some room. And then um, it is a little bit of impact. So we're just gonna start with jumping jacks, but make it low impact, modify any of the moves. Um, but let's have fun, let's work hard, and um, let's start with our jumping jacks. So we're just gonna keep it simple here. We're just gonna start with some jumping jacks. And then we're going to move right into some squats. And I'm going to add a little pulse for you. But let's stay right here for about 20 seconds. Right? You can always up the intensity by pushing the pace a little bit. Feeling good, right? 15 seconds. And then we're going to move into squats. Two more. Five, four, three, two. And then we're gonna go with like a mid stand squat here. You're gonna add a little pulse and then just come up. So just uh, hit the bottom twice there and then just come up. Give your glutes a little squeeze at the top. It's gonna be good here. We'll get the legs warmed up and then we are gonna do some routine lunges. So we're gonna continue legs and then we're gonna have some push ups. So we'll get the whole body warm. Hopefully, you'll break a sweat. And it'll take about four minutes here on the warm up. Maybe we try to go down just a little bit further. Okay, 12 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then your curtsy lunges here. Now you could turn them into speed skaters if you want. I'm in kind of a tight spot here. So I'm just gonna go for C's and you can add that little reach down at the inside of your heel. Warming up those lines, right? And a little glue. Okay. We're gonna back it across or you can do regular lunges, okay? Regular reverse lunges are always a good replacement for curtsies. All right, 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna do some push-ups. We'll spice it up a little bit for you. All right, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to come down. We're going to keep it super simple here. You're just going to give me a push up with two shoulder taps. Turn here. One push up and then two taps. And you can do the push up on the knees, right? push up off of the knees, and then come on and have your two taps on your toes. Shoot for about eight to 10 on the sets. 15 seconds. Quality push up. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's do one more set. Okay, amounts to warm up. We're going to come back and do that again. We'll be back up in those jumping jacks. All right, here we go. Round two. Like I said, if you want to up the intensity, just go a little bit faster to take like some speed jumps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then our squat with our pulse mid stance. Squat to pulse. A little bit quicker, right? A little bit quicker. Get those muscles warm. Awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then right into your curtsies or speed skaters. Like I said, if you want to a little bit more challenging, add those skaters in there. Okay, I'm starting to sweat. This is good. 
Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then your push up with your two steps. Taking your feet a little bit wider might help with your toes. All right, quick, 15. 10, five, four, three, two, one. One more time through. Okay, like I said, I'm moving quick here. Try to stay with me. Minimal rest, right? So we get maximum burn here in our short workout. You want to maybe a little clap at the top, right? A little clap there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squat with a pulse. Here we go. All right, come on. Break a sweat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Curtsies, go. Back and across, right? Back and across. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push it up. Come on. Give me good ones, and I'll get a chance to grab some water. Quick counts, good push ups. 15. 10. 7. 6. 5. 4. One more. 3. 2. There. You have it. Warm up done. That feels good. So grab a water and then I'm going to show you um, what we're going to be doing on our first set of work. So we have. Four different things here we're going to do. So we're going to do some deadlifts and we're going to add a little raise at the top. So like I said, these dumbbells, perfect for me, okay, lighter. So I'm able to add that little raise at the top. So you're just going to give me a little flare out to the side. Now, if you don't love this or the weight you have is too much for those raises, then you can do the deadlift to upright row. All right, so Grab your weights, give yourself a little shoulder roll, put your feet so they're right under your hips. Okay, we're gonna start with the hinge here. Three, two, and let's do it. So you're only in each move for about 30 to 40 seconds. So you've gotta to try to stay with me. Minimal rest, right? Just slide them right down the thighs there and then right up, right? Shins, slide them up to the thighs and then raise them out to the Nice full body here. So we have lots of combos today for the workout since we're using a little bit of a lighter weight. Let's go. 12 seconds. You want to soften the knee just a little bit. Push your hips back, come forward there. Let's give the glutes a little squeeze at the top. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. And then we're going to some reverse lunges. We're going to be adding a shoulder press at the top. So what you're going to do is alternate the legs here. So we're going to lunge back and then we're just going to add the press at the top. So you're just giving them a little hold right here, right in front of the shoulder. And the weight should be good for both the deadlift and these lunges, right? Alternate your legs there. Okay. A little shoulder press. We're going to do some tricep kickbacks. So we're going to go tricep kickbacks and then some inchworms. Nice angles on the lunge there. You want to go big steps back. And when I come up, I push out of the heel in the front foot there. Okay, 12 more seconds. And then we're doing those tricep kickbacks. 10. 
Press all the way up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then with the tricep kick back, okay, you're gonna use two dumbbells there. You're gonna hinge forward, rowing the elbows up high. So you want them above the back there. So the elbows row high, and then you're just kicking back right there. So grab, okay, medium to light on the weights. And try not to swing. Just put your eyes in front of your toes there. Okay, stay long through your spine. And you wanna brace your core, okay? Try not to swing. Any good stuff here. And you can always alternate if you need to do one arm at a time, right? The weight's heavy. And give me 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, right? So I'm just gonna set my weights down here and then we're going inch worms and we're gonna add a little high plank, low plank, okay? So you can come to the top of your mat there if you've got a mat, you're gonna inch out. Once you're on the end, you're gonna take it down, push it back up, and then just walk the hands in, touch the toes, and let's go again. Out to plank, drop to that low plank, push back up, walk it in. Now, modification could just be the inch form, or it could just be the up downs, or it could be more push ups, right? Targeting shoulders, triceps, core. And along the way there, you're stretching out the back of the legs, getting ready for those deadlifts. Okay, so we'll go right back to the top. Okay, we'll go two more times. Get sure it's done here. Just about eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and there you have it. Okay. I know it's good because I'm dropping sweat now. <laughs> All right. So deadlift sides raise, right? Reverse lunges with the shoulder press at the top. Our tricep kickbacks, our inchworms, round two. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Add the hinge and then raise it up. We're going to touch everything by the time the workout's over. And the cardio is just kind of built in, nonstop, keeping your heart rate up. The Everything is short. That's what I want. I encourage you guys stay with me on the reps here. 15 seconds. Stick in those heels. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. Now we're going for those reverse lunges. I'm going to turn this way. I can't go to the lower room. Still in back. And then press out the top. Okay. That helps you get a focal point or get a mirror. Use your mirror, use your camera, something. And check your form. You want those nice angles on those legs. All the way at the top. Okay. Quick. 15 more. Ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Try some kickbacks, okay? Switch your weight if you need to. I'll give you a second there. Okay, we're gonna lead with the chest, okay, hinge, elbows row, and then we kick it out. Elbows just stay high in your arms. Stay locked into your body. This is definitely a good one to check your form on. Okay. You don't want to be too upright, otherwise, you're not going to be able to get the triceps. You got to have that hinge, right? Got to be bent here and then kick it back. Control, kick back there. It's short, 15. Squeeze at the top. Come on, 10, 9, 8, all of these birds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one, there we have it. Oh, good, yeah, 
Here we go. Get into your arms. Up, down. Split them off if you need to. We'll put it together with me here. And you switch the hand to push back up with, right? Two more. Come on. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Finish yours. I'll give you a second. Come on now. Okay. So like I always say, third set, best set. Okay. You know the moves. You know what you need weight-wise. Okay, let's do this. Roll the shoulders, okay? Give me a nice strong stance. Lean with the chest. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Hinge down. Flare out there. So we're gonna move on. After this, we're gonna do some work on the floor. I'm gonna give you some chest. I'm gonna give you some of my favorites, some pullovers. And then we're gonna do some core too. So you're gonna mount your back for a couple moves. Give our legs a little break. Stay in the heels, right? If you needed to, you should be able to wiggle your toes a little bit. Let's go, Betsy. Slide them down, slide them up. Ten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten. Lunges. Way down. Alternate legs with me. Press with the top. Right? This is one of my favorites. Touching everything here. Okay, I'm going to count out the last reps here. Okay, so we're going to do eight more reps, which means four more on each leg. Let's go. Eight. Come on. Stay with me. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, last breath, tricep kickbacks, okay? Again, you need lighter weight, grab it, okay? Five, four, three, two, okay, give me that flat back, Put those up, eyes in front of your toes, hugging those arms against your body, okay? Long through your spine. Squeezing at the top, all the things here. This is one of my favorites. Some fine tuning right here, right? Come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, so good. It was really good for your shoulder too, that nice little cut there. Okay, here we go. Inch more, up, down, and then you're able to get some water. Remember, try to switch the hands so you push back up with. Got this. Got about three more to do here. You're gonna finish yours. And one more. And what you done? Ooh. Good work. Let's get some water. While you're drinking, I'm going to show you guys the next three moves, okay? That way you're ready to go. So if you got a couple sets of dumbbells, you can just have them close by. Okay, we're going to start with a chest press. We're going to add a little pulse on it because whenever I don't have a heavy weight, you can add a pulse and you can make it just a little more challenging. So we're going to start with our weight up at the top and then you're just going to give me a little pulse at the bottom. So you're going to go down, halfway up, back down, close. That's the first move. 
second move. We're gonna do some pullovers. So lighter weight, you use two dumbbells. And if you have heavier weight, you can always use one dumbbell, but two if it's light, one if it's heavy, and then we're gonna add those leg lifts. And you can come up as high as you're comfortable, all right? And then the third thing we do, we're just gonna do some um, leg crunches with some twists. I'm just gonna use one of the eights, all right? So let's lay back. Let's start with that chest press, take a pulse. So if you're working on a bench, great. If you're on the floor, great. Anchor yourself to the mat or the bench there. And then let's start to go here. So it's down, add a little pulse, and then close it. Put it together right over your chest. Chin up, eyes up. Okay, let's go. Nice and strong. Just a little upper body, little core. This circuit, three moves, three times through, and then we're back up. More legs, some biceps, and some back. So we'll be getting uh, into our last set of work after this floor work. Let's get a little pulse and then push it back together. 15. Squeeze, right? Squeeze the top there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there you have it. Now I'm using both weights. I'm taking them over. You want those straight arms and they're just going to come up there, push them towards the toes. Now again, you're coming up as high as you're comfortable. One of my favorites here, back and more. Don't lock the elbows, but you keep the arms pretty straight. All right, 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna drop it down to just one weight. I should have something a little bit heavier, but I'm going with this. Okay, so now I'm gonna bend the knees. We're gonna do like a crunch or a sit up, and then you're gonna do a twist. You're gonna go one, two, three, and then you're gonna go back down. And then I'm gonna twist to the other side first. So I'm gonna go right, left, right, and then down. And then on the next one, left, right, Left, and you don't fully sit up, right? You stop right where you would for the twist there. If you want to elevate the heels, you can. Okay, I kind of like just resting them lightly and look in the direction that you're twisting there. It's nice, using the weight does help you kind of come up. Right on the way up helps give you a little momentum. You can do this with no weight too. All right. We'll do this one and then I'm going to do one more. Okay. Okay. And that's our work. We're going to quickly go right back. Okay. Chest press with the pulse. All three of these just kind of work good together. So if you're starting, weights up five, four, three, two. Okay. Let's go. Bigger, better. Rep it out. Those goal posts at the bottom, right? Come up, back to the bottom, and then close it. Smooth, controlled, and a little squeeze on the pecs at the top. 15. Ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull over. One weight, two weights. Here we go. Okay. 
Feels good, kind of stretches things out there through your last 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it down one. Right here. Come on. Okay, next time I come up, I start with the other side. Then do three, two, one. Not fully set up, right? I'm gonna keep your chest lifted. We started our company, Girl okay. Tonight Seniors, before we even yeah. graduated. This one, but and then I want you to do two more sets. Go. To build along with us. They have everything from banking, payment acceptance, to credit cards, and all in one place. One more. Chase Mobile. Business before ever. And then we're gonna rock through this. Build to inspire. One more time. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys, we got this. Five, four, three, Two, let's go. What we'll do is I'm gonna give you a chance to leave the pulse out here on the end in just a second. And if you want, you can just go straight reps with no pulse, but that's an option. You can keep with the pulses or you can just give me straight reps, no pulse. Here we go, three, two, your choice with the pulse or without, let's burn these out, let's go. You got 15 seconds. Think burnout, right? Think burnout. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and there you have it. Pull over. I think it helps if you look up, right? Look up towards the ceiling as you come up. Okay, straighten up those arms a little bit and go all the way over, either to the top of your bench or almost to the floor. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Very nice. All right. Well, let's go one way. It's nice. We're knocking out a bunch of core. So, like I said, next up, we've got some squats, of course, some biceps, and a little bit of abs. Feel the twist, like right through your waist. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very good. Grab some water. Okay, so we're gonna kind of continue with these combo moves here, at least in the beginning. So we're gonna start in with a squat and I'm gonna have you use one dumbbell, okay? Or you can use two small ones, but we're gonna do a little push on it, which I love this. Um, you're gonna do the push at the bottom, but you could always push at the top, but we're gonna take a little bit of a wider stance, one dumbbell, okay? You're gonna come into your squat, you're gonna push it, and then you're just gonna rise, right? We've got a little wider stance. Then after that, we're going to do some bicep curls, okay? And what I was going to have us do is kind of faster curls since the weight is a little bit light, but we got heavy, then you're just going to slow down the pace a little bit and work with heavier dumbbells. Then I'm going to have you do some renegade rows. So we're going to just go down to the floor, renegade rows, you guys all know those. And then I'm going to have you do like a little bit of a pop squat 
combo thing. So um, we'll get our heart rate up a little bit. No weights on the pot squats. So start with me, one weight, yeah? a little wider in your squat. You're coming down, try it. Like I said, if it's too much at the bottom, do not have to push at the top, okay? So here, there. I like it because it just adds a little more core if you push at the bottom. You get your shoulders, chest, right? Obviously my core and my legs. So down, push out, draw it. And you see the weight stays right in line with my chest through the whole thing. Push those knees kind of out in the direction of your toes. Stay here, 15, and then out. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna need my other weights. I'm doing those nice and curls. Yeah, put a little twist. So neutral grip means your palms face in. Okay? When you get to the top, I want you to give it a little twist to where your palm is facing towards you. And again, you can go a little bit fast or you can go a little bit slower if needed. But let's get a nice burn on those biceps. Elbows stay locked into the body. Stand tall, sink into your legs a little bit here. Let's squeeze. A little bit quicker if you can. Okay, 15, come on. I'm feeling as fast. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then your choice in the renegade rows. You can do row off of your two dumbbells or if you wanna just row one and pass it between. So take your feet a little bit wide. Make sure you guys can see me here. Steady your hips. And then just bring that elbow. Okay? There is a little shift in your body, but try to steady here. Lift the floor, lift the back, a little bit of shoulder. Twelve, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so I told you guys you got a little combo here, and it's your choice. I'm going to add a kick out. So let me show you three different ways to do this. If you are fully in and you want to do this with me, okay. We're gonna do one, two, three pop squats, and then you're gonna just add a little kick out. Now, if you don't wanna do the kick out, then you're just doing pop squats. If you don't wanna do the pop, I would suggest doing squat to calf raise and just like be really quick about the pace, okay? You guys ready? Little chance just to get your heart right up here. Okay, so we're doing three, two, one, and then I'm kicking out. Back to the start. Three, two, one, kick out. Three, two, one, kick out. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. Oh, I got my quads. All right, good stuff. So let's do it again. Okay, squat push, biceps, then our rows, then our little top squats. All right, so two more times through that guy, and you will be into your core. Okay. So let's go. We got again about four minutes to get those abs. This is it for your arms and your legs. Push, draw it in. Okay, look forward. Don't let that weight take you forward. You sit back. 
Push those knees out. Inner thighs, glutes, shoulders, chest. Come on. 15. We're in the final stretch here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh, those legs are burning. Ooh. Okay, curls. Starting with that neutral grip, twisting on the way up. Let's go. Take a deep breath here. All right, stand tall. If it's fast and you're losing your form, then just slow it down a little bit. Yeah. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Are you swinging? Try not to sway. 10, let's go. Play throws. Off of two dumbbells. We're passing between one. Steady your hips. Be a little challenge for yourself. Okay? Try not to rock around. Be aware of your body. Keep your eyes right in between the weights or right on the floor by your hand. Okay, 15. Ten. Nine. Eight. I find if you squeeze your glutes, it kind of helps too. So your bottom doesn't come up. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. All right, our little combo here. Your choice, top squats with the kick out, top squats only, or your little squat to calf raise. All right, here we go. On that third one, I just go right down. And then back up, okay? Three. Okay. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten. We did it, guys. We made it. Last set. Okay. You ready? Third set. Best set. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. Breathe. Could you sit a little bit deeper into that squat? Yes, you can. Good. This one's hard. Again, it's kind of got that built in cardio hey, effect here. Holiday All right, right off. Okay, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, I'm glad those are done. Biceps. Okay, five, four, three, two. Let's go. All right, I'm proud of you guys. Waking up, putting the work in. Great. You could also pair this video with like a mile run or a mile walk, two mile run, two mile walk, even if it comes later in the day, right? Get your steps in, come on, let's pump them out. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yes. Okay, back and biceps go great together. That's why I put these together, here we go. Steady hips, eyes where your hands are or where your weights are, right? Elbow comes high, keeping your hands and your weights like right under your shoulders. You don't want them too far in front of you. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, 
Squeeze your glutes. Eight, seven, tummy's in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, we are done with our weights, you guys. So you can set those aside for good. All right, pop squats. Squats with count raise. Pop squats with a kick out. Get your choice. Let's get that heart rate up. One more final push here. Come on. Three and then out. Woo. Okay. This is it. Fifteen. Go a little faster. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. I'm gonna do two more sets. You can do it with me. Come on. Four. Three. Hurry, get it in. Two. One. And there you have it. Wow. Yeah, we get to lay down. Woo! -hoo! That was great. Quads on fire. Okay, let's do some abs. Okay, three days. My favorite. You guys all know it. Bicycles will be first. Okay. Followed by flutters. Here we go. Ride your bike. Elbow, knee, connect if you can. And you don't pull on your head, right? Just put your fingertips gently right at the side of the temples. It's quick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Flutter kicks, you ready? Just a short little set of flutter kicks. Put your eyes up. Roll your belly button in towards your spine. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then good old fashioned leg lifts here. Okay, you can do single or double. Just really smooth, okay? Really smooth. Relax and look up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three more. And then we've got the bikes. Three, two, super good. Back to the bikes. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Can you connect there? Try. 10, 9, 8, all the way out. That leg straightens out, right? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom. Flutters. Okay. Make them big, make them small. Do your best. Watch that lower back though. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and then your leg lifts. <laughs> Legs are feeling heavy, right? We just gotta get through this. And we're into our final two minutes here. Start to prepare, okay? Time, we go back to those bikes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you ready? Five, four, third set. Let's go. Ride the bikes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, quarter kicks. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, yes. Oh, your leg lifts. Okay, great job. We're gonna flip over, finish with a play. Okay, come on, final reps here. Ten. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay. You get to pick high plank, low plank, 
Then we're going to lock it in. Okay, long and strong from your head to your heel. There we go. Okay, so let's talk. We did legs, right? Lots of legs. We did some shoulders. We did some biceps. We did some triceps. We did some back. We did some chest. We did some core. And we had some cardio built in. So we kind of touched everything. Nice, quick shred. Full body. Okay? Not a lot of jumping, but sweaty. So take yourself, make as long as you can from your head to your heel, pull the belly in super tight in your final 10 seconds right now. Go 10, nine, lock it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, awesome job, you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, getting out, putting the work in. Yeah, hope you have a great day and then we'll get back together here soon. All right, guys, take care.